classification of instruments according to groups here. There are, you see, forceps and all these forceps we studied. Here are the group of forceps. Instruments for disconnection. Scissors, scalpels, hooks. There are dressing forceps, pincets, probes, needle holders. Something new? No. There are special instruments, but not all of them you need to know right now. There are functional location, because here we see group of instruments for operation on the skull. Here group of instruments for tracheal stone. Here instruments for lengthening retropharyngeal abscess. Here our old friends, you remember a few years ago I showed you all of them, yes? Next, chest surgery. You see the rib cutter, rib cutter for the first rib, the Dwayne's rib respirator, and trocar. Needles for punctures. Next, in the last layer, uh, you should know here this one. We started, yes, you remember 10 years ago I showed you. And this one with triangular shape window, they are for the lung, for the lung. Surgical hammer, you studied uh, this semester only during one operation, antro tomi, with this instrument, chisel, groove chisel. Next, the instruments for bones. This, this, and this, it's for next semester. But here, instrument with name Lewis Forcep. We studied Lewis Forceps during operation on skull. For what operation? Decompressive trepanation. Difference. Some students believe that if it's small, it's for child. And this one for adult. No. There you see difference in structure. Here, double gear. Here, single gear. That's why crushing of the bone by these instruments is much easier. It's decreased pressure. And the uh, last one, what you should know, is here, because there are instruments for next semester. Maybe except this, there are neurosurgical spatula we studied too. That's all.